All right, part 12, Evil Thin commentary, or not Evil Thin commentary, Resident Evil 7 commentary. I do not know why I said Evil Within. Although, yes, I did get Evil Within 2 and played it recently and played through the whole game recently, and I like the game, so that'll probably be a later upload since I uploaded the first Evil Within and I even did a commentary. Yeah, I even did a commentary for the Evil Thin, and, but the Evil Thin playthrough, I actually even put in a, a playlist, and it's bit presented as like a movie airing on TV. It, there's something that, uh, Evie drew. Which I didn't mind Evie, to be honest. If I'm being honest, I didn't mind her. I mean, that was just cliche. Yeah, a, a little, a little cupboard full or cabinet or whatever the hell you want to call it. Uh, of, uh, of, uh, of burned up baby, I mean, how many baby dolls, little baby dolls did they buy her to burn? Something's wrong with her. Yeah, I believe Evelyn's gonna be, Evie's gonna be introduced to her. Evie tells you to stay away. Well, you can't, because the game says you can't. Okay. Yeah, I'm just commentating over a previously played stuff. I'm not playing this long for commentating. Okay, so here you go. You got the D-Series arm, and it's like, where the hell did that come from? And that's the thing, just this game, in this game. Yeah, I was gonna shoot her. And where'd that come from? Screw it, I was just gonna make a run for it. Well, it could have came out of here. There's all that damn poop everywhere. That's what it basically looks like to me. It looks like dried up poop. And they smeared on the wall and it just dried. So I got that taken care of and then I'm probably going to go back to the uh, camper again. And I think that's where Lucas Baker calls you. Yeah. Yeah, and he's pretty corny to Jack Lucas Baker. And yes, there's a thing in this game, the Not a Hero, and I and I really didn't care for Not a Hero as well. The base game I think is decent.
So I took the little shortcut. I mean, God, I have to say the the to have so much big, so much property. My God, he must have more money than Oswald E. Spencer, the Jack Baker. He must have had more money than Oswald E. Spencer. <laughs> that was legitly funny. That part was funny. I mean, what the hell? I'll feel for you. I'll give it to you. Come on, man, don't be like that. You want to have some fun, don't you? Come on, man, you want to pay $5 for gas? Come on, man. I'm just adding that in. I don't care if I piss off any bike nut hugger. Really, I don't. Not that the guy, not that, not that any of them are any better. They all suck. I, he's just the current guy. That's kind of some, that was kind of like freaky looking. Just put that crank up. You're not going to freaking need it. Put the crank up more on. Yeah, I'm calling my own self moron because I didn't do that. Because I. Because I don't know why I kept the crank in the inventory. I don't know why I just didn't put it up. Because you're not going to need it till towards the end of the game anyway. But now we're going to go upstairs. We're going to dig through some more stuff. I think. No, I don't think I'm going to do that. I think. Oh, hell, I don't know what I think. There's nothing in the bathroom, dummy. Once again, I'm putting down my own self for such a crappy playthrough. Stupid molded in the way. I run past them, but usually it's just really freaking hard to run past them when they're, when you're in first person mode and the whole game's in first person and you really can't maneuver your way out of them. Yeah, I'm going to go back down to the basement. Yeah, and then there's some new molded down here.
I think molded will show up. Not new molded, it's just the same old shit. The only the difference is the neck. There, there might be some fat molded, and then later on there might be... I mean, there's just nothing... I mean, even Resident Evil... Even the Resident Evil 2 and 3 remakes at least attempted to do variety and tried to have more than just zombies. Yeah, it's like, what in the hell is this? Yeah, yeah, the whole thing gets like, what in the hell is her problem? It's up with her, the lady in the wheelchair, but as you play through, you'll find out. And that was, oh, here comes an arm molded. Yeah, that was kind of gross. It was. What in it? Ugh. It's like you shoved the key down there. Good lord. Yeah, see where I'm trying to run? And I was stuck there. That's why this first person crap doesn't work. And then you slow, like slowly reload the shotgun because you would have got his ass kicked in the mansion incident and the and the raccoon city outbreak. It's like, as far as new characters go, even in Resident Evil 6, they introduced a couple new characters like Piers Nivens and Jake Mueller, and I got into those characters. I did. I really liked, I, uh, uh, and I used to think Piers was like an alright character. I thought he was decent, and then playing it more, and then when I played it again, the last couple times I played it, I thought, damn, he's actually a pretty damn good character. And this commentary, this part's almost over, and I'm gonna get to part 13, and... Yeah, right there. That totally looks like a ripoff of the Jack, the one of the monsters, one of the enemies from the game, Deep Fear. I would also say it also looks like a ripoff. It has the same little hook arm thing like one of the creatures in Resident Evil Revelations 1. But I say Deep Fear because Deep Fear came out in 1998. Revel Resident Evil 